This is John Black, Super Chemist. This is not an instructional video. It is just a vlog showing a video account of some chemistry experiments I have done or I'm learning about. I do not go over all safety concerns, so if you repeat anything in the video, you do it at your own risk. This is part four of sodium ethyl sulfate synthesis. All right, so I had probably about 1,700 milliliters, give or take 200 milliliters of liquid here. I got it all the way down to 600 mils, right? And when I got it to there, something started to precip out. Also, you can see it went from a clear, I mean, it was crystal clear. Now it's, I mean, it's still clear, but it's got, you can't really tell on video, but it's got a yellow tint to it. I don't know if you can see the... Still can't. All right, there you go. You can see the particles now. See them floating around in there? Now it's been about that much, though, for the last 250 milliliters of evaporation. It hasn't gotten any more. Uh, maybe it's the calcium sulfate. You know what I mean? Keep in mind that it's not insoluble. You do get a little bit in there. And if you take away 1,500 milliliters almost, or 1,000 milliliters, something's going to precip out it. Now the reason why I think it's something like that or else calcium bicarbonate uh, or the calcium sulfate is because it is all the way down to 350 mils now. <clears throat> and that's 250 mils and it's still nothing more is precipped out. Just a little bit precipped and then that stayed constant. No more pre if it was my product, it would have kept precipping out. I mean 250 milliliters evaporated and nothing more came out. No, that cannot be my product. Keep in mind, when we put in the calcium uh, carbonate or hydroxide, uh, you know, calcium carbonate, when it's in solution with carbon dioxide, which it was, you start making the, bisul the bicarbonate. And bicarbonate is somewhat soluble. So it could have been in solution with, especially with almost two liters of liquid, uh, it could have been in solution and now it's coming out because there's very little water or whatever. But not a lot is coming out because it's, it's you know, it's not, that, it's not that soluble. So I think I'm just going to wait and if I see a whole bunch of precip all of a sudden start coming out, I'm going to stop, you know, add a little bit more water so that it dissolves and get this stuff out of here. But Right now, it's a, it's a 350. I'm going to wait until it gets down to like 150, 200 milliliters, and I'm going to filter that out so that when my product comes out, it's already out of there. All right, so let's just cool down a little bit so I can filter it. This is the filter one. This one. I only got it down to 300 uh, milliliters, and it just seems like a lot's coming out now, so... That's why I'm going to filter it. And then we'll put it back on the heat and see how it goes. You can see at the bottom there. Okay, that pre step. And then we'll wash this out with a little bit of water. And we'll put that back on the heat. Uh, I did look up the uh, solubility of sodium ethyl sulfate. At room temperature, it's about 140 grams per uh, 100 milliliters of water. Keep in mind, it takes up room two. You know what I mean? It might take up 100 milliliters just to have my product in it. Plus the 100 milliliters of water, that'd be 200 milliliters of liquid. I'm down to 300, so I'm getting close to where I need to stop. I might filter this one more time. We'll see. I didn't boil much more off before I put it into this crystallizing dish here. You can see, uh, I put it into this long dish here and I'm just letting it evaporate. I'm putting it in the oven once in a while and heating it up, letting it evaporate. Definitely looks nice and white. That stuff on the outer ridges. It looks more like uh, calcium sulfate, I bet. Or magnesium 
I mean, uh, order uh, calcium carbonate. All right, so I put it in this smaller dish. Continue the evaporation. Now it's it's dry as heck. You can see it's nice and white though. Everything is nice and white. I did notice that the crust that goes along the lines here. I probably should have taken that out of there. That's probably all the impurity. I'm just guessing. It looks different though. It's probably the calcium sulfate. And now the calcium bicarbonate that was in here. It's slightly soluble, so you're going to have some in there. But when you evaporate it off, you can't isolate it. When you evaporate all the water off, it turns into calcium carbonate. So I do have some calcium carbonate in here. Uh, I have some calcium sulfate, and then I have my product. So how are we going to get the calcium carbonate and calcium sulfate out of there? We're going to use ethanol. We're going to recrystallize this from ethanol. I don't know how much ethanol dissolves. I can't find any solubilities about sodium methyl sulfate solubilities in ethanol, so we're going to have to guess on that. But the calcium carbonate and the calcium sulfate, I'm guessing, is totally insoluble. And then we can dissolve our product and recrystallize it, filter it, all the impurities out, and then recrystallize it from there. Well, I'm guessing I have about, you know, 70% of a mole, that's about 100, 110 grams of product. I don't know the solubility of this product in ethanol, but I'm guessing that you can at least get one gram of it in every milliliter of water. Uh, so say I have 100 grams of product, I could probably, I'm guessing, easily get it into 100 milliliters of pure ethanol. The problem is this is all the ethanol I got, and it's just basically seized. But I know there's some liquid in there, so I'm going to see how much I got. But what I'd like to use is 100 milliliters, because that seems like it's more than enough to dissolve all my product. Well, there's definitely 100 milliliters there. Now, no matter what you do, you definitely do not want to heat this up with any flames, okay? Pure ethanol is pretty flammable. Um, you want to get a hot water bath and put it into the hot water bath. Um, and, you know, I mean, no flames, just hot water. And you set it in there like this. I got a cellophane on it with uh, a gum band around it. And uh, I'm just going to heat it up. You should heat it up to boiling. I'm not going to do it. Um, I'm just because I've let this stir. Because it was in chunks. I remember I dried this stuff out. Then I had to beat it with, the, with this here. You know, pushing down on it when it was in the ethanol. And I'm trying, it wouldn't even stir at first. The chunks were so big. So I let it stir overnight pretty much. And... Uh, <coughs> Now I'm just going to heat it up a little bit just to let it dissolve, make sure everything's dissolving in there. And then I'm just going to filter it. And you should do this in a fume woods. Um, I didn't boil it because, because it's getting me paranoid about because it's so flammable. So I'm just going to go ahead and heat it up a little bit. And I did heat this up some. And we're just going to filter it. You can see I have cellophane around this so that all the cracks are, you know, not, no gas can escape. Put some more cellophane on top. This way we don't have to worry about evaporation. Do not do this around flames. And I will put some cellophane on this too. And we'll wash it out once this goes through and drips and it's just down to the powder in there we'll throw some ethanol in here and then wash out the funnel now it's just a waiting game because I don't I want to really filter it and I this is the only frit filter I have it's really worth anything anymore all the other ones are broke well I'm still filtering it as you can see and uh, 
it kind of solidified because I mean it's it's uh, cooling down. You know what I mean? I can't keep it hot because it takes so long in this gravity filter. So I had to add a bunch of more ethanol. It's almost done now. I've got a lot left here though in the thingy that's just I guess a lot of calcium sulfate. But it is sparkly, so I'm guessing that there's some product in there too, but can't get it out a lot, you know. So you can see I do have a lot of stuff here. It's actually starting to precip out down here. As soon as this filters, we'll evaporate that ethanol off and see what we have. I don't know if you can see, but you can see there's stalagmites and stalactites there. Did you see that? Now because I'm using this for, um, funnel that's just gravity filtered, it's taken a very long time and everything's pretty much cooled down to room temperature. So the stuff is, my product's starting to precip out. So I added, added another 100 milliliters or something like that, maybe even 150 milliliters, I don't know. Um, to make sure that everything got dissolved back into the into solution. Coming off there, it's just... Now, I don't know if you're going to catch this on film or not. My camera's good enough. But you'll notice, and it surprises me, that these are needle, you know, like pine needle uh, crystals. If you ever did, uh, made... Uh, benzoic acid you'll know exactly what I'm talking about you can see them crisscrossing back and forth like little swords or whatever let me try to get a closer see how the little I don't know if you can see it on there but there's little needle like crystals Remember, you know, you got to put this where there's no pilot lights, you know, like even on your stove, if you have it, if you have a pilot light, that's a flame. Uh, so I'm going to put this in the basement and uh, so there's no pilot lights and there's no flames or whatever, and let it evaporate. So I'm going to continue to evaporate that off and still there's just a little bit of ethanol left. So I've got this in the freezer. It's pretty much a solid chunk. I'm gonna try to get some of the some of the crystals out of there. So there they are. I'm just gonna vacuum that off and then I'm gonna <coughs> spread a little bit of more ethanol on there just to wash it a little bit and suck that through and then we'll try to get some more crystals out. The reason I did that was when I put it in the freezer, it just all solidified basically into a big chunk. You know what I mean? So I wanna get all that crap out of there and just start fresh I guess. I got about fifty five grams here, which is a terrible yield. I think a mole was 148 grams. Um, and, uh, and remember, I started with two moles of uh, sulfuric acid. So, I mean, two moles all the way down to less than a half a mole, that stinks. But the crystals are super, super white, super nice, super uh, needle-like. Um, the bad thing about this, though, other than the bad yield, is that this is a... a uh, has ethanol on it. You know what I mean? Like when you get water crystallization, you also can get ethanol crystallization. And that's what happened here. Each molecule of sodium ethyl sulfate has a data bond or of, you know, makes a coordination complex with one molecule of ethanol. And they attach together. So to get rid of that, there's only a couple more minutes of this video, so please don't miss part five.